Well, not far away now from the start of the ICC Women's T20 World Cup, and I'm joined here on Women's Crick Zone by Beth Mooney, Australia opener in the absolute form of your life at the moment, would you say? Uh, I don't know. Form's a funny word, isn't it, in T20? It's you got to take what you get and not get upset about it. So, um, you know, sometimes people struggle, sometimes people don't, but it's nice to be hitting the ball out of the middle occasionally. Well, you say that quite modestly. You get what you get. What you've been getting is a mountain of runs uh, <laughs> over the summer. Has there been anything behind that? Um, nothing particularly profound. Um, I think I've just wanted to be a bit more of a consistent player in T20 cricket. It's really difficult to do and, um, you know, stick with the same plan and process every game. Um, you know, you've got to live with the days that it doesn't come off and celebrate the days that it does because the days that it doesn't, you know, someone else in the team's going to have a cracker. So, um, yeah, just being a bit more consistent with my planning and preparation and, and it's been paying off, so... Well, the build-up into this, it hasn't always come off for Australia's batting, that tri-series, there were losses to India and England within that tri-series, maybe a little bit because there have been wobbles in the batting. Is that something that you feel you've addressed as a group? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, we probably haven't been challenged as much as we would have liked in the last 12 months, but we played a tri-series against two of the best teams in the world and they put us under the pump and put us under immense pressure, which is a credit to them. They've they've played outstanding cricket both in England and India in the last sort of 12 to 18 months. So it's no surprise that we, you know, were put under the pump and challenged. Um, I think coming into this World Cup, we probably needed that. And, you know, I have no doubt that once, once the game starts tomorrow night all our batters will be firing and, and wanting to make an impact on the game. Uh, there has uh, when people have been talking about Australia been a little bit of uh, attention on and focus on Elisa Healy's form she hasn't probably been in the in the form that we know that or to the level we know she can play at but she did this before the last T20 World Cup didn't she and things turned out uh, to be great for her. Yeah, I think, as I said before, I don't I think form's a bit non-existent in T20 cricket. We know the way that Midge plays and, you know, I don't play a too dissimilar role and sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't, but you live and die by the sword. So um, that's the way she plays and I have no doubt that she'll come out firing tomorrow night and hit a few bombs. How does that work between the two of you? Because, as you say, you're both, I mean, you're both very aggressive with the bat at the top of the order and there are times when one of you manages to, to go off and then the other one doesn't and you sometimes seem to swap it around a bit. How close do you to work together in in your approach to to the innings particularly at the start yeah I think it's about understanding the conditions and assessing the bowlers and, and working out which one of us wants to take what bowler on and making sure that we provide support for that person to take someone on so um, you know sometimes me just hitting the ball really well and my job is just to get her on strike and watch from the other end but you know at the same time sometimes it's her job to get me on strike it's just literally dependent on the conditions the opposition how we're feeling on the day um, and things like that and that's something that we we talk about through the whole batting order is making sure that we communicate how we're going out there what the conditions are like what's easy to target what's not easy to target and things like that so it works its way all the way down the order but I think um, it's very difficult at the start of an innings to have both both batters going at once but once you allow yourself a bit of time it then becomes a bit easier in the sixth and seventh over if we haven't lost a wicket for both of us to just go free for all. Not long now until the two of you are out there facing India's opening bowlers. So, were there things that you learned about them in the tri-series that you think could really help you out tomorrow? Are you prepared to share what they might be? Um, yeah, I think they're a pretty well-rounded attack to be honest. They've got a great variety of spin options and obviously Shikha Pandey at the start with her um, in-swing to the right, right-hand right batters is quite effective. Um, again, it's probably dependent on the, the conditions on the day to see what side we take on but I think we're in a really good position with the batters that we have and the arsenal that we have in our shed to be able to take the game on and really play to our strengths and get the matchups right with um, particular batters facing certain bowlers so I think we're in a really comfortable position and um, we're really excited to just get out there and take the game head on. Yeah I mean there's been so much hype in the build-up, deserved hype and I think really positive hype. How has that been perceived from within the team? Oh, it's, to be honest, it's no different to any other World Cup for us. There's this expectation where the Australian team are going to be really successful. So um, it's no different from anything else we've heard in previous tournaments. But, you know, I guess for us it's... Um 
you know, we obviously have our high expectations of ourselves and this is no different. There's no extra pressure coming from within the group. So we're just looking forward to getting out there and what a great opportunity it is to showcase the talent that we have in our side and showcase the the athleticism of Australian women's sport at the moment. So it's just a really great opportunity for this group to um, enjoy the experience and uh, not get too ahead of ourselves. I mean, you say it's no different, but in a way you've never been in this position before as a team because you've never played in a World Cup in Australia that has been front and centre. So you must have sort of maybe, have you talked about it all or worked out how you might handle it? Are you going to stay off social media, anything like that? Uh, we haven't spoke about anything as a group. I guess as individuals, we know what we need and what we don't need. Um, the beauty of being at home is we're close to all of our support networks. Friends and family will be at the games, um, so that will really help. But not as I think as a group, as I said, we're just really excited about the opportunity. Um, yeah, we haven't had a home World Cup, but gee, a lot of this group's played a lot of cricket in Australian conditions, with whether it be WBBL or international cricket. So we know all the wickets we're playing on, we know the conditions, we know our opponents, so just what will be will be. Now, I can tell you the first time that I met Beth was several years ago uh, when you were living or boarding with the former Australian captain and wicketkeeper Jodie Fields. Has she been giving you, you know, in touch to, to give you any ideas about the, the pressure of, of a World Cup too? I mean, I know you've been in them before, but she's obviously had so much experience in that way. Yeah, probably growing up she had a huge impact on my career in terms of knowledge of the game and, you know, sharing experiences and things like that. Um, Jodie doesn't isn't involved as much in cricket anymore so I don't see her around the traps too much but yeah she definitely was a source of support and knowledge I guess for me coming through the ranks at Queensland and yeah she had a huge impact. Yeah, well, she did say to me at the time, watch out for this one because she's going to be playing for Australia one day. And she was right. Beth, all the best for the tournament. I will look forward to seeing out there, you out there making some runs. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hey, no problem. Make sure you uh, follow the whole entire ICC Women's T20 World Cup, of course, right here on Women's Crick Zone.